Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this session, we will deep dive into the padding widgets and we will learn two important classes, age insets and age insets directional that allows us to specify the value for padding property inside the padding widgets. So without wasting time, let's get started. Padding widget gives empty space around the child widget. When we use multiple widgets on the UI, widget might collide with each other like this. So here comes the need of padding widget using which we can convert this kind of UI to this beautiful one. Some widgets like container has built-in property called padding using which we can specify the padding for its side. But not all the widgets in Flutter has a padding property. So whenever we want some widget to have explicit padding, such a widgets must be wrapped inside the padding widgets. Here we have a simple Flutter application code written that contains input statement, main function which is calling run app, Inside run app, we have the object of my app. My app is constructed by extending stateless widget. Inside this, I'm returning the object of metal app. We have the scaffold here. Then as a body of scaffold, we have the center widget. Now for the center widget, let me pass a child in the form of card widget. Now for this card, let me specify some color. So I will use the color, let's say the colors dot light blue here. Then for this card, I'm using property of child. And as a child here, I'm passing the object of padding here. Then inside this padding, you can see this padding has got two important properties. The child, child basically specifies the content that is the portion that you want to place inside the padding. So in this case, let me use your text and as a value of the text, text, I will write here, say Flutter teacher. Then let me apply some style for this text. So I can write a property called style and as a value of style, we need to specify object of text style here. So let me increase the font size a little bit. So I'll use font size of 30 pixel. And one important thing is in this padding widget, the property called padding is compulsory. So let me use the padding property here. For this property called padding, we have to specify object of age insets geometry. So this class called age insets geometry has two famous subclasses, age insets and age insets directional. So initially I will talk about this age insights and at the end of this session I will talk about this age insights directional. Age insights class specifies the offset that is the insights in the form of visual edges such as left, top, right and bottom. This class has got four important constructors. So let me explain them one by one. So initially I will use the constructor called age insights dot all. So basically when we use age insights it means we are specifying value from all the sides. So let me save the code. You can see in this text called Flutter Teacher from all the sides that is from left, top, bottom, and right, we are getting the padding of 10 pixels. Now, if I change it to 30 and if I format code and save it, you can see we'll get the padding of 30 pixels from all four sides of this text. You might have a question why I'm placing this padding widget inside the card widgets? Why I'm not directly placing it inside the center widget? The reason here is Padding widgets don't have its own physical appearance. That's the reason if I place padding directly inside the center widget, you might not get the feeling of padding. Basically, you will get the padding, but you can't see it because it don't have any physical appearance. In this case, you can imagine that it has got the padding of 30 pixel and you can see it in the form of color because I'm using card here. Now again, you might have a question, why I'm using a card here? Why not the container? Because container has a built-in property padding. So if I use a container, you might have a doubt or you might blame me that if container has a padding property, why I'm explicitly using padding widgets. And fortunately, card widgets don't have the padding property. That's the reason I have selected the card in this example. So if you don't know about card, don't worry about it. Just consider card like a box that has got some rounded corners and little shadow that is little elevation at the bottom side. Now let's say you don't want to specify the padding from all the sides equally, then we can use a constructor called symmetry. Basically symmetry has got two named parameter. These are the horizontal. So if I use say horizontal 32 and one more property called vertical. So in this case, I'm using vertical eight. It means from the side left and right, we'll have the padding of 32 pixel and from the side top and bottom, we'll have the padding of eight pixel. So let me save it and you can see the changes. Now consider you want to specify padding explicitly for all the four sides. So in this case, this agency class has got two constructors. Let me use the first one, which is called from LTRP, that is from left, top, right, and bottom. So from left, I will use the value 10. 
for top i will use 20 for right let's say 30 and for bottom i will specify the value 40 let's save it and you can see the changes now instead of using this constructor this class has got a constructor called only so using which we can also specify value for all these four sides explicitly this constructor has got the four name parameters so let me use the first one let's call top so for top i will specify the value of 30 that is i want 30 pixel padding let's say for bottom i will use 0 pixel padding for left i will use 20 pixel and from let's say right i will specify 0 pixel let me save the code and you can see from right side and bottom side we have padding of 0 pixel at the top we have the padding of 30 pixel and from left side we have the padding of 20 pixel now let me explain this age inserts directional class basically this class specifies the offset in the form of four cardinal directions these are basically start top end and bottom for this specific object the value of horizontal component that is the value of start and end depends on the direction of writing the text or the content now consider that the way of writing the code that is the direction of writing the text is from left to right then in this case we have the start at left side and we have the end at right side but if the direction is opposite that is we have the direction in the form of right to left in this case we have end at the left side and we have the start at right side now let me explain the use of each inches directional for this either you have to wrap this padding widgets or the card widgets inside a special widget called directionality so let me wrap this card inside the directionality for this i will click on this wrap with widget and let me use a widget called your directionality now for this directionality we have the property called text direction in this case i will use the text direction called left to right now instead of using this age insets we have to use object of age insets directional so this class has also got constructor like all only and from steb so let me use a constructor called steb so using this steb we can specify the value for start top end and bottom so in this case let me use the value for start as 50 pixel for top i will use value 10 pixel for end let me specify the value of again 10 pixel and for bottom again i'm using the value of 10 pixel here let me save the code now let's understand what is the concept behind this directional so in this case we are using the direction called left to right so as i'm passing 50 for the starting position so as we have the direction left to right this 50 that is the starting padding is given at the left side and this specific end that is the stain is given for the right side now if i change the direction that is if i change direction to rtl and if i save it now you can observe here as we have the direction in the form of right rtl that is right to left you can see this value of starting that is this value of 50 pixel is not on left side rather it is on the right side and now i hope it might be very much clear for you when we have the direction from left to right we have the start at left side end at right side and when we have the direction called right to left then we have start at right side and end at the left side moreover this class has got constructor in the form of all so that we can specify the value from all the sides let's use your 32 so if i save it you can see we get the padding of 32 pixel from all the sides this class has got the constructor called only using which we can specify the value for each side explicitly so if i use your start let's say for start i will use the value of 30 pixel let's say for end let me use the value of 20 pixel for bottom i'm using 0 pixel and for top let me use the value of 50 pixel when i save the code you can see for start i'm getting 30 pixel and for this end we are getting 20 pixel that's it for this video see you guys in the next video if you really found this video helpful and if you really realize that this video has improved your knowledge then don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos